Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm CL and welcome to my channel, CL Pushing 50. And today is a little bit different, right? The sun is bright, I don't have a hat on, which I usually always have a hat on when I'm shooting videos. But take a look at the backdrop. You see some interesting things in the backdrop, right? Basketball goals. So I'm out here standing on a basketball court. And what's the significance, right? Before I get into the topic of the day, but what's the significance of being on this court? What we know about this sport and even this court is a lot of games are played. A lot of games are won and lost right here, right? And someone may have made a winning shot to bring victory to their team right and that winning shot is a goal right scoring the point to win the game well the one thing is is that someone walks away winning and someone walks away a loser well not quite a loser in this in that sense but losing the game but here's the significance to the game of basketball is no different really than the credit game right it's because at least in the in this sport and I credit it's filled with more and more opportunities to do what? To win yourself, right? To be able to make that goal and score that point. And just like in good, just like with your credit, you get an opportunity to hit the reset button and go out and score, right? And scoring for us, right, in the credit journey is improving our credit and getting to the pinnacle of our of our success and whether it ever ever it is whether it's our credit or just in, in life in general is to reach our goals okay so just know that there's opportunities to win here just like it's opportunities to win and in, in your credit journey okay and so let's get into it today so today i'm going to cover au's au's so hold on let me stop if this is the first time you've tuned into my channel first let me say thank you Second, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I talk about the credit journey on a regular basis here on my YouTube channel, okay? So again, welcome. I'm CL and welcome to my channel, CL Pushing 50. So you may say, hey CL, what is an AU? Well, AU is just the, a, a short <laughs> term, short two letter <laughs> uh, substitute for the word authorized user. And you may say to yourself, well, CL, what's an authorized user? Well, an authorized user is someone who is basically piggybacking off of someone else's credit to improve their own credit. Now, being an authorized user for someone else means that the person that you're getting to be on their as an authorized user for them or for their credit card with their good and long and lengthy history of having good or stellar credit, right? Is you're using their, their credit to rebuild or improve your credit score. But listen, I would not seek an authorized user with a credit score of anywhere between three and, and 580. No, you should be above 600 much more higher than, than than 580 as a credit score before seeking someone uh, to help you to improve your credit as an authorized user because again what you're doing is you're piggybacking off of someone else's good credit history right and their credit becomes that credit trade line for them for that credit card that they've made your authorized user for and again you don't need to have possession of the credit card because they're the person the individuals that's responsible for the credit the, the credit card they're the, the individuals that going to be held liable and responsible for the debt itself all you're doing is is taking advantage of their good credit and their payment history right and if they have a long and good payment history they would be perfect for you to be an authorized user for their particular credit card. Now, again, again, I'm gonna say this one more time. You do not need to have possession of the credit card in order for you to benefit as an authorized user. You're simply benefiting from their credit. And that trade line for them would be 
part of your trade line going forward. Now, it's nothing that's permanent because as soon as you're no longer an authorized user, right, it's going to come off of your credit report. But in the interim, if you happen to be placed on someone's account as an authorized user, you're gonna benefit from their credit and you should see a boost in your credit score. Again, now look, if you have poor or bad credit, I'm gonna say this again, do not seek an authorized, to seek to become someone's authorized user on their account, okay? Start working on your own credit first. Improve your credit right to the point to where you at you feel like okay now i'm ready i've moved my credit score from poor to now i'm at the fair you know at the fair range and right on the cusp of having good credit then you definitely would you know definitely at that point in time will be a good opportunity however okay you got to be dealing with someone that trusts you right you got to be a trustworthy individual to become someone's authorized user okay so make sure that you're not you know uh, taking advantage of a family member or a friend by becoming an authorized user okay you don't want to burn them because as soon as let's just say you got a credit card let's say they send you you know send you a credit card and you're using their credit card and you're not making any payments on it or maybe that's part of the deal as you being an authorized user and you're not helping with your you know your part of the, the obligation and you're failing at that you're going to drive their credit score down to the dumps okay you know and you're probably going to lose a, a good family member more important you might even lose a friend you know behind not uh, taking care of business but again like I said before you don't need to have possession of the credit card to piggyback off of someone else's good credit but again you know you need to be responsible in that process hey again if you're just tuning in hit the subscribe button. I talk about the credit journey on a regular basis here on my YouTube channel, okay? All right, so again, you know, work on your own credit. You know, the one thing I talk about more than anything else, the reason why I started this YouTube channel is to, you know, motivate, encourage, inform, educate, you know what I mean, and inspire and uplift you that to, to let you know that just like I, you know, had you know, a, you know a poor credit score and moved from a credit credit agony to a credit triumph, to where I sit today is you could do the same thing. You know, you have the same opportunity. So today is is just more about talking about what an AU and what an AU is. You know, the, obviously the advantage is is that you can in, improve your credit score by piggybacking off of someone else's good long and good long credit history. So that's the advantage. Now the disadvantage is is that uh, you know you can really screw it up by you know becoming someone's uh, uh, authorized user and having a credit card and not you know and, and meeting the obligation and, and your responsibility of being an authorized user and you know not doing what you need to do okay so it's going to be the, the power is in your hands right make sure you're doing the right things okay because again this is all about the credit journey right this isn't about this isn't about going backwards in time okay this is not about backwards this is about going forward in life okay and and your credit journey requires you to do what things right it's going to require hard work determination right it's going to take some discipline and patience okay so wherever you are right now you want to continue to drive forward and upward in your credit journey and i'm gonna be right here every step of the way you know so uh you know just remember we all deserve to have the best in this life we all want to reach the top and whatever the top means to you it may mean being debt free achieving financial freedom or hey you just might want to be rich right and so just know that this is the credit journey right and I want you to let your friends and your friends friends know that there's someone out there talking about something of value valuable to you and them right and so again I want to thank you for watching today and hopefully being out here on this court is some motivation for you because just like games are, are lost right their games are won and there's always an opportunity to improve right to get a second shot or third shot or fourth shot a shot at reaching your goals right and winning right because ultimately this is what this is all about is you know going from a credit agony to a credit triumph and i know you can do it i know you can do it we can do it we're going to do it together so just keep pushing 50 thanks again for watching and remember the dream is free but the hustle is sold separately baby peace